why do I do these tests? Now I have a box with two rolled up negatives and two loose loops to project. But because I did that second test, I saw that the light over the garage door was not visible in the print. That means the density was off and I didn't use enough light to print it with. So I started thinking. How could I measure that density? Okay, here's a piece of leader that I would hold up to a light to look through to see how dense it was. I've been judging density by eye. I look at the negative and the picture shows me how dense it is. I look at the print and I see how dense it is. It's either lighter or darker, you know. I need something better. This is another way I was checking density. I could put two pieces of leader or six pieces of leader side by side here to see how bright the light is that shines through it and I can actually photograph it. So that, that's a way. This could be a gray card exposure on a print. Then I would see how dark it was. Or on a negative. You see the gray card exposed on the negative and you would know what to set the light at. Okay, but I started doing that and I have samples where I have negatives and prints with gray cards and slates. But I found a better way. This little square is one frame large. And if I could get a light meter above it, I could measure it. Now I could take the film strips off of the top of it and push this down and then put a meter over top. So that got me thinking. This is a variable light source and it won't be the same all the time. This is real good. It's a lot bigger than one frame of 16 millimeter. Have you ever tried enlarging a frame of 16 millimeter when you shine it onto the board you can't even see the image it's so faint but you can actually make a print if you wait long enough and i have negative carriers for 16 millimeter this is the sensor on the top of the luna pro light meter and i thought that i could put it upside down on top of a piece of film but then there would be that space and it, you know, you would get other light. And then I th looked inside there. What if I put the film inside that slot? It fits perfectly. There's hardly any play. The slot is only slightly larger than a piece of 16 millimeter film. So it's like, it's not a 110 slot, it's like a 111 slot. And if I cut the end of the film, I wouldn't have to hold it with my finger to hold it flat. And then you could just bend the film to get it out. The slider holds it on one end. Here's the test. Hold it up next to the light. Put the bulb on one side and the case on the other. Hold the switch. And you get a light reading. Light meters work better when they're powered with electricity. <laughs> this one especially. It works with low light. So the denser the negative, I cut the end of it, the less light. But you have two scales, the high scale and the low scale. So here's the high scale. That piece of dense negative is 14 and a half. Science at work. So why do I do these tests and persist? Because I needed to learn this. I learned this today. I wouldn't have learned this if I hadn't have done that test and guessed at the exposure needed for the printer. Now I have a densitometer that I could use. I put another piece of film that had a picture in here and the reading was different. So it works. The film slides right out. 
I just tried this light because it's about the same shape as the end. I put it on there like that. And I got a different reading because this brightness is different than the ceiling light. I have to use the same light every time. So this reading became 13 and a half or 13 and one dot. It's 13.1. So the film just snaps right out of there. So here are three different pieces of black leader at different densities. It's just random films that have accumulated on my table that I've cut these black parts off. There's light, medium, and dark going left to right. It's kind of hard to tell what they are. Now I can cut these, put them into the light meter, and put it on this box or the ceiling light and get an actual number for what these densities are. I don't have to rely on my eye. Alright, I got different readings. A brighter light for these black negatives, for these black leaders, is better because then the light meter has more to work with. But they were all different readings. So the ceiling light is better than the box light because it's a little bit brighter. But a higher wattage bulb would work too. Density and contrast are different for these three negatives. The one on the left, that one was 17.1. This one was 17.5. And, and this one was 18.2. These are gray card exposures from two different negatives. This one is 16.1 and this one is 17.5. So on the light box, you can see there's a pretty big difference. This, this one also has a slate. And that slate is black and it's supposed to print black. And it's only slightly different than the edge. 